Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Jamo. I'm very excited to be in another video. So today we're going to go ahead and jump right into the story. There's an audio portion of this. So guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Pana, tú sabes que yo fui a llevar esa identificación a ti, tú sabes. Entonces yo tengo mi novio y ese ese chico se me acercó eh, preguntando que si yo trabajaba en la calle. Yo le dije que no, que yo simplemente fui a llevar una identificación a mi hermano. Entonces eh, me dijo que se me podía acompañar y yo le dije que sí, que no había problema. Entonces tú sabes, ahora yo no quiero que, que no me vaya a ver eso, que me vaya a traer problemas y eso, sin yo estar en eso, por una persona sin pedir permiso ni nada, está grabando, eh, eh, sin saber la vida del otro y, y la familia de uno. Tú sabes que yo tengo mucho con mi novio. Entonces yo no soy una chica de su suba y yo no quiero pegar a mi novio por eso porque tú sabes que yo pego a tu, tu identificación y yo no quiero que eso me traiga problemas. Okay guys, so I'm going to take you behind the curtains of the audio you just heard. So basically, Stephanie messaged me at night. Um, and if you don't know who Stephanie is, Stephanie, she's been in a lot of my videos. She's helped me out as it relates to videos, outside of videos here in Zasua. In many ways, she's, I mean, for me, she's good people. <laughs> and uh, she uh, messaged me and she asked me for the contact information of Pudo TV. And if you don't know Pudo TV, he does um, like walking videos here in Susua. And I asked her why, like, why do you want the contact information? And she was like, because apparently her sister had uh, had gone to Susua with her. I guess she, she needed to get her identification. Maybe she left it or lost it here in Susua or so, something like that along those lines. So, uh, and apparently, you know, her sister went with her. She got caught in the, the crossfires of a camera, <laughs> I guess you could say. And she ended up on a video of Pudo TV. So, and you know, Stephanie's sister, we could say is a regular girl. And I guess the interesting part of it, cause you might be thinking, oh, okay, she's in the video. You know, what's the big deal? But apparently her sister um, has a boyfriend in the United States. And I think she was kind of, or Stephanie told me that she was on the verge of, you know, about to leave to the United States kind of on that and on that course. But the, the fact that she was happened to be in the video of a Pudo TV video um, has caused some friction or caused some problems uh, with that, with her boyfriend in the U.S. So that's kind of the situation, as you know, you heard in the in the in the audio and whatnot. And, you know. And some of you might be saying, say, thinking, or some of you might be saying, you know, Jamal, why are you making a video about this? Well, there's really two main reasons. A, because like I said, Stephanie has helped me out a lot, and I think this video could probably help out her sister in some way. So, so yeah. And the second reason, because I've talked about this topic before, but I want to kind of go into a little bit more detail <laughs> of how I feel about kind of the creep cam videos. I, first off, I just want to say that you know I completely understand it because. You know, if you go back to my videos in Miami, especially during spring break, I was doing a lot of creep camming at that time. You know, even and actually even before that, there was something called Periscope, which was an old, uh, which is is an old uh, app. I think Twitter had where it was like a live stream, and sometimes I would walk, you know, on the beaches of Miami and like you know film chicas or film women there. Uh, and obviously, you know, sometimes women, you know, sunbathe without their tops on. So <laughs> there was a lot of stuff I was doing, you know, back at that time. But, you know, God, you know, works on all of us, is working on all of us. And, you know, we tried to improve from those uh, earlier days. <laughs> but uh, but and, and I could say that for me personally, I think I have definitely have grown out of that a little bit. Um, and I try not to do that here in Sisua. And there's a couple of different reasons why I try not to, you know, get involved with the creep cam footage here in Sosua. First off, I think, you know, uh, it's related just to, to the culture out of respect of, of the women here and whatnot. And also because I, I don't want to be a part of a, like a situation like this where, you know, um, a woman, you know, with a woman being in a video without her knowledge or without her permission is facing real potential consequences. Because imagine if it comes about that she really can't go to the U.S., just because of of the issue with of the video that she didn't even know about you know she wasn't she was she had no knowledge of that and imagine you know if that's something that happens even once or or multiple times that for me personally i wouldn't i i just wouldn't i wouldn't want to 
to to cause that to happen we could say just personally for me and also you know uh like i said I just you know it's just out of respect of the culture and another thing that i want to say because even though personally i don't do that i just want to say that i don't think people who you know you know do that type of voyeur uh voyeurism type videos or you know creep camp type videos i don't think that what they're doing is evil or illegal or anything like that um and some of the things that they might some of the reasons why they might you know say they it's okay is because you know like uh, obviously you can you can film in any public space you know some of them might say like oh you know if the girls are that ashamed of doing what they do out in the streets then maybe they sh shouldn't be there and whatnot so that's some of the things that i think a lot of people who you know are pro creep cam <laughs> we could say um, i might say and i understand that and i and i res and I, I i understand it and i i don't want to say i respect it but I, I get it i get it but like i said for me i try not to do that just because of like of the reasons uh, i mentioned but i, I just want to end the video by saying that you know um as it relates to this specific situation with uh, Stephanie's sister, uh, hopefully, you know, well, obviously this is related specifically to Pluto TV, you know, when she contacts you, hopefully, you know, you guys will be able to work that out, obviously. Um, and then, and secondly, like I said, um, you know, whether you choose, well, I'll just put it this way, for, for people who are thinking about coming down here to Sasua uh, and starting like a, a YouTube channel, or you just wanna film just for your own personal stuff, you know, doing the whole uh just filming outside with your camera is really really looked down upon uh like even sometimes even you know when i first got here i had my camera out and i wasn't even filming but one time a girl like started kind of like yelling not yelling but she, she got pretty angry at me and i wasn't even filming um and so but i just had my camera uh on me so you know it's definitely not looked uh, it's definitely frowned upon here in general now obviously you're going to do what you're going to do and not i'm not trying to tell you what you should do but um but yeah but that's that's pretty much all i have to say about about that so guys thanks so much for watching this video um i appreciate the support and peace